The New Order by Martin Allen Wall We may not win the battle of ideas. Our enemies are only temporarily confused. They are regrouping with a new leader who will be at the heart of a new smear campaign. Rich people buy influence, backing policies that build a fake world that enslaves the working classes and delivers massive profits. What side will be remembered in history? Well, that's for the future to decide. But as the world slips into dark shadows, walking alone in most cities is not advised. The price of water keeps going up. Street vendors serve the poor, but nettle soup with bugs included. It's not for me, thank you. I'll just take my chances. The security forces are observing you. Be careful, friend. That opinion is not advised. People disappear and are never seen again. Just hold your head up and agree with everything that's been said. It's the only way to survive. Until we've got a plan or our saviour returns. Yes, I noticed a change in the weather. I'm not sure how they're controlling it or how the technology works. But yes, they are doing it. There's rain in the desert most days. They're building factories there. Some are saying it's filled with slaves, living in dormitories, sleeping in shifts. No medical care, just a mortuary on the side. As I say, that's what some people are reporting. The master classes are living in luxury. They're appointing their own families to lead the armed forces. They are adding extra status to the soldiers of fortune. In return for their cooperation, as a precaution, for unacceptable opinions that need to be punished and crushed, there can be no interruption to the funds for the revolution. In what they call these difficult times, hospitals for ordinary people, well, they may be reinstated, but in my opinion, that's not very likely, as the private sector is now flourishing. Good health is on demand for those who can afford it. For others, there are very generous terms. If your credit score and life expectancy meets the accepted criteria, The authorities have acknowledged that the population has been falling, but they say that that is not a bad thing. What is the point of carrying on with people who are surplus to requirements, but absolutely deny genocide and dare anyone to bring proof? The final straw of hope has fallen to the side, as from Monday all types of religion will be banned, buildings will be demolished, should you wish to chain yourself to the gate, well, no one will stop you. When the bulldozers arrive, please take some advice and run. Their orders are just to go ahead. The drivers may shut their eyes as they run you over. Your protest will be in vain. Your screams will echo across the valley. Sadly, time won't remember your name. We guarantee no records are being kept of the atrocities that have taken place. The new order are proud of its achievements. Global warming is at rest. Free speech and opinions have been stopped. No one gets a ride for free. If you drink from the river, you will be charged with theft. Work every day. The state will feed you. What could be fairer than that? The security forces are observing you. Be careful, friend. That opinion is not advised. People disappear and are never seen again. Just hold your head up and agree with everything that's been said. It's the only way to survive. Until we've got a plan or our saviour returns.